Yeah! Greetings, all. This is Michael from Sealark. Today I'm going to give you a few tips about how to have a good, realistic, and safe death when you are LARPing. First of all, check your surroundings. As soon as you've been dealt the fatal blow, and you stagger, and you're on your feet for a moment, if you can, very quickly look around yourself. See, okay, there's a rock here, I don't want to land on that. Uh, thorn over, thorn bush over there. And make sure that there's nothing like a snake or an anthill or a large rock or a puddle or something that you don't want to fall into and possibly injure yourself. Also, as far as an epic death goes, if you are yelling a lot while you are fighting, it's more likely that you're going to yell when you die and have a better, you know, a, a, a better death. But if you're silent and concentrated while you fight, you're likely going to have a less energetic uh, death or loss of consciousness, depending on whether you're a PC or an NPC or what. So, for instance, if I'm just, just fighting this invisible person over here, and... Uh, I wasn't being very vocal as I was fighting, so I didn't really have a lot of incentive, incentive a lot of energy to bring forth a, uh, a well done death. But if I'm, if I'm being vocal and active with my voice as I'm fighting, then you are more likely to project a better death sound. Again, look for your surroundings. If you're in a field of grass, it's not as big of a deal. But if you're in the woods, it really matters a lot. Uh, especially in the summer, if you're on a, a wooded area like this, or perhaps you're in a bog. There's not really, and there's, and there's not really a good place to lie down. Then you may be forced to um, just act wounded and, and walk a few paces until you find a suitable spot for your death. Uh, in the winter, it's not as bad dying on. Uh, uh, the forest floor as opposed to a trail such as this. So, for instance, I'm going to fight and die before you on the ground. And you can see that it's not an ideal place to die because of things. But as long as I'm aware and I don't throw myself down so suddenly, I should be fine. Another thing, if you tend to, <coughs> excuse me, if you tend to, you know, fly back when you're hit and fall on your back as some stunt people do make sure you do it safely because if you even if it's from a very short distance falling directly on your back uh, without the support of your legs can be uh, very very powerful and bad for you possibly so if you want to give the same effect of that but be safer you can bend your knees and and fall down on your back and just throw your legs up 
And it gives a similar effect. You especially have to watch out for your head. And watch out for rocks. Make sure you don't get bugs in your hair. Things like that. Or, you know, land on something. Uh, similar to that. And watch out for your eyes, especially if you're dying face down. Make sure there are no twigs that could pick up and uh, scratch your eye. Uh, or even something strong enough to gouge it. So just, just be careful. Just look around you. Know your surroundings. Know what type of ground you're on. And beware of the other players. If you're fighting with someone and you can see that they're it's not in a good spot uh, to die, then you can give them a little leeway or just let them run off wounded and then die until they find until they can find a better spot. Hope this was helpful, giving you some good ideas to have a safe and epic death or loss of consciousness for your large character. Thank you very much. God bless. Have a good day.